Hello you amazing hackers, I hope you're all doing well today. We're going to solve the reflected cross-site scripting into the attribute with angle brackets HTML encoded lab today. Uh, so this one is a pretty simple one, it's an apprentice lab and it's meant to show you the basics, that's why it's not that hard. We're going to start, as you can see I already solved it. Uh, you're just going to start with entering any random string into your search field. So for example I'm going to add some random gibberish in here. And you can see that it's reflected in two spots. So we have our search string here, this is our parameter, and it's get it gets reflected in here and also into the search field. Now when we inspect the element for this specific uh, result here, you can see that we have an h1 tag with zero search result for blah blah blah. All right, that's excellent. We'll also inspect this reflected value here and we can see that this uh, reflected value comes from the attribute value equals. And then you can see a double quote. So what happens when you enter a double quote in here? Let's see, shall we? In here we can see that it's properly refracted again, but if we look into the search bar, we can see that it's not. This happens because when we check out this attribute value, we can see that a new attribute is being created. This happens because uh, there is some error in the formatting of our tag, so our browser tries to make the best of it. It just tries to create a new attribute with an empty value and an empty name just to have something in there so that it can make sense of what it's seeing and so that it can render what it has. Um, this is useful for us because we can, for example, uh, take the solution from the port swigger labs here. As you can see, what's happening here is they put in the double quote as well. And they started doing a new event handler. So this attribute on mouth over is an event handler and it's going to trigger an, an alert one. When we do this into the search field, as you can see, and we search, now there's going to be a new event handler. Nothing is going to be in the search bar because you can see it's empty, it just says search the block. And that's because our event handler is an on mouse over. So it's only going to happen when we move our mouse over the search field. So that's what's happening when you can uh, insert a cross-site scripting attack vector directly into the tags. And that's also why a lot of the current lists, in my opinion, are not really um, that good, because they only focus on cross-site scripting attack vectors using actual tags. So for example, the image tag can be used, um, the A tag can be used, and that's all fine and dandy, but sometimes you can just insert into the tag itself. And that's usually not covered by all of these fuzzing lists. So if you try cross-site scripting fuzzing, also make sure that you try to look for values that are reflected inside of a tag. So for example, the value attribute. Those are easy to hack as well if there is no filter in place. Of course, if there's a filter in place, it's going to be a little bit harder. But we're going to teach you guys all about filter revision in the next few episodes. So stay tuned for that. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope I'll see you in the next video. Bye.